Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video on uh, step response of a series RLC circuit. And in this video also we will be solving two problems. The strategy remains same. We will follow these five steps in solving the problems. So let's see. This is example number uh, 8.7 again. We had done the first part. Now we will be doing the second part. The only change here is the value of the resistance. In the uh, previous video, this was 5 ohm. Now it is 4 ohm. And now let's see what will be the effect of this change in the value of the resistance. So the technique is just same. Step number one, find I0, V0. So this is the circuit for T less than 0. Uh, the circuit is in steady state, therefore inductor becomes short circuit, capacitor becomes open circuit, and this switch is closed. For T less than 0, it is closed. At T 0, this will be open. So this is also in the circuit. So this is the circuit. We have to find the current through the circuit. So 4 plus 1 is 5 ohm resistance divided 24 divided by 5 will give us the current. So current is 4.8 ampere. This voltage is the voltage across 1 ohm. So 4.8 multiplied by 1 will give the V0. So V0 is I into 1, 4.8 volt. So that is the first step. In the second step, we have to find dv0 dt, which is I0 over C. So we'll just simply plug in the values of I0 and C. Not much concern with the circuit right now. These were the two values. So we're plugging in dv0 dt is 19.2 voltage per second. Now we come to the third step, t greater than 0. This is now in the transient state. So the inductor will remain there. It will not be short circuit. Capacitor will not be open circuit. So this is the circuit that we have. This resistor is now out because the switch is now open. So the only resistance is now 4 ohms and therefore alpha is 4 divided by 2 into 1, so 2. And omega is also 2. So now these two values are equal, that is alpha is equal to omega. And so we'll have a critically damped circuit or critically damped case. And out of the three equations that we have, we have now to choose this critically damped equation. So we'll pick this equation. This is the equation. We'll now move forward with this. So this equation alpha we have already known. So we'll plug in the value of alpha. And we now need to find Vs, the steady state or the final voltage. plug in the value of alpha which was 2. This is the circuit now. T greater greater than 0 actually. Now the circuit is in a steady state. The inductor is short circuit. Capacitor is open circuit. So whatever is the source voltage that will appear across the open circuit voltage. So uh, Vs is now 24 volt. So Vs is 24 volt. And so this will be now our general equation plugging in the value of Vs. Now we need to find A1 and A2. Move to the next step. We have to put T is equal to 0 to get one of the equations. So let's put T is equal to 0 in this. V0 is 24 into A1 from here. And V0 we have found to be 4.8. And then from here, A1 is minus 19.2. Now to get the second equation, we have to differentiate this. So we taking the derivative of V. This is the one of the term and this is the second term because the derivative of product. This is the derivative of product. And I hope you know how to solve. Anyway, I have written it here. And this is the dv0 dv dt now we put t is equal to 0 in this so t is equal to 0 dv0 dt 
we get minus 2 a1 plus a2 from here putting t is equal to 0 this will be eliminated t is equal to 0 and here in is to the power 0 is 1 now we know the value of dv0 dt so we'll plug in that 19.2 so this is our second equation now we plug in the value of a1 in this so we get a2 minus 19.2 and so plugging in into the uh, general equation, this is our final equation in terms of voltage. Now here also we have to find the current. So this is the voltage equation. The current is I C D V D T. So we put V this well V here and differentiate. Differentiating product term differentiation. Simplifying, so this is the final value of the current in terms of T. So I hope uh, the first part is clear. Now let's see the second part. Again, same question. The only change here is the value of resistance here. It is now 1 ohm, and let's see what is its effect. Technique remains same. I0, V0. This is the circuit, inductor short, capacitor open, this is connected. Now we have only 2 ohm resistance. So 24 divided by 2 will give the I0. So I0 is 12. And 12 multiplied by 1 will give this voltage, V0. So it is 12 volt. First part, dv0 dt is i0 c i0 is 12 we know the value of c is 25 so dv0 dt is 48 second step done third step alpha and omega this is the circuit the switch is open so this resistance is out one ohm resistance in the circuit so r is 1 to l so alpha is 0.5 omega is 2 and now alpha is less than omega therefore we have an under damped case so from the three equations we'll put this one which is for the under damped so this is our general equation we'll proceed with this general equation we need to find omega d we need to find vs and we have already found alpha so omega d putting in this formula comes to be 1.936 and vs again the circuit is in steady state condition inductor short circuit capacitor open so the capacitor is charged to the supply voltage 24 volt so this is 24 volt so this is our uh, equation now we need to find alpha and uh, a1 and a2 by putting t is equal to 0 and also by differentiating so let's put here t is equal to 0 this becomes the equation we know v0 12 so plug in that so a1 is minus 12. And now taking the derivative of this equation, so again uh, I'm sure you can do, these are again the two terms, this uh, multiplication terms, so first term differentiation of the second term, second term differentiation of the first term, so we get this equation, now we put t is equal to 0, at t is equal to 0, dv0 and the, the, this is part will now become like this dv0 we have already found out uh, from uh, the previous slide it was 48 so we plug in that value we plug in the value of a1 to get a2 so a2 is 21.694 so now we have got the two unknowns so our final equation will be like this and here also we have to find the current so we know V, I 
cdvdt plugging in the value of v here and taking differentiation and final answer we can get like this i hope you can uh, differentiate this and this is the final result so this should give you an understanding of solving this type of problems thank you